Even yeah, and even in between the, the gaps, he was still staying a lot more busier than had than Boo is. And then, like you said, in turn, and then like the level of competition, because like I'm um, same time like a Bo- I know Boo Boo since the amateurs, and he was always an issue. Then you know what I mean he he was a um a world champion or amateur world champion, and he was expected to medal in the 08 Olympics and so forth. So he has that pedigree, and he definitely you can tell when he's in the gym. He definitely has that dog, and he, and he loves the grind of the gym. Uh, I mean like, again like. Man, yeah, in terms of like the natural, you know, saying pedigree of, of a fighter, you obviously would go with, you know, what I'm saying Demetrius. But again, you know, what I mean, like we we're not well, none of us again, we're not getting any younger. You know, what I'm saying we're all in our thirties now. You know, what I mean, and so forth. So you just and like luckily for guys like Bud, of course, you know, Bud always stays in the gym, but he doesn't overtrain and kill himself out. There, you know, what I'm saying work like Bud. Matter of fact, Bud always used to teach me like 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 bro, you don't have to be out here sparring if you're not in camp because every time you spar, or whatever, you just put you just added more mileage to your career. You know, at the end of the day, you still take you still taking punches. So like that's one thing that Bud actually stays away from when he's not when he's in the gym. He'll work, but he's not he and he'll work on his technique and practice his craft, but he won't be taking no, you know, say unnecessary punch maybe if he doesn't have to. That's very important to to give that that type of advice to the younger fighters, you know. Right. Well, yeah, because you see a lot of younger fighters, you see it now. I mean, you see all social media, they, they arguing about they, they want to the dog house and out there, the Floyd gym, or they want to spar this person. This like, and it's like you always see. You think about it, you always see a lot of good sparring partners out here. But then you look at their pro record, and it ain't added up to how they looking out here in in, in, in these gyms, or at least for that one or two rounds that you see online. Facts, facts. I mean, in your eyes, uh, these guys are probably going to be in the best shape of their lives coming into this fight, November twenty fifth. Um, you know, do you, do you favor the younger, uh, the, the, the younger guy that he kind of banks on the second half of the fight or do you go for the more experienced fighter that has to start early? I want to go for the more experienced fighter who's to who start early because you know, he can make adjustments on the fly. But again, um, if I feel like if Boo Boo doesn't bank in those rounds and keep that pace, he's gonna have a lot of problems with a guy like you know like a guy like David. Cause David, you know, David's already, you know, he's hungry, you know, he's already wanna like, you know, he wants damn I'm, I'm missing his name. My um Morel. He's already talking about fighting Morel if he can't get Canelo. And Morel's not an easy fight either. And Morel is one of the guys that people feel like that's been avoided as well. So you could tell, you know, that David's on a mission. You know what I mean? He's already, he's already, he already has a self belief that, I mean, they both had a self belief, but David definitely believes that, you know, once he gets this fight the way, he's going to Morel next. So, well, you know what I'm saying? We'll have to, we'll have to see. But I, I think, I think again, that's probably, um, that's going to be, that's definitely a, um, a good, a good, a good matchup, a good matchup. It actually surprised me when the fight was even announced. You know what I mean? Because you know, we don't really get these type of good matchups like that with guys like that. So, it, it's, especially, especially with um, Boo Boo's career. So, it's a good matchup. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what do you think? Uh, keys to victory for for Andre f- fighting a guy like Benavides? What he, got, he got he got a box. He got a box. He he got a box, man. He got a he got a he got a he got to definitely use that southpaw ring IQ and just box. I, you know, I, Seems like the lateral movement's going to be really key. And I, I think Tim Bradley had point, pointed out the best, like you know, the same thing you said, like you got to use that lateral movement because. At times, David can can come at you in a straight line, and but if he gets you, you know it's gonna be a problem. But that you gotta you gotta basically box literally circles around him to keep him to keep him. You know what I'm saying keep him guessing. But if if he can't keep that pace up, it's gonna be a long night. Uh, when it comes to body work in this fight, who do you who do you uh, give that advantage to? You probably get that to David, even probably. though you know, even though that you know that you know. Uh, Andre does have to go lateral, and while he does go lateral, he might want to sneak some shots in there as well. You watch now when you watch Boo Boo. I was I was thinking that too though. When you watch Demetrius, like he he put a lot of straight shots, like a lot of jabs and like straight left hands to the body early. People don't never people people don't really notice that. Like he really he really starts his body work a lot early, and I feel if he does, you know that early, he take take a lot out of um David as, as time goes on. But again. David being the combination puncher and like he'll he'll dig down to the body a lot, he can be very effective as well. But just that again, that comes later in the fight. But if Demetrius gets that, you know, that, you know, saying get that game plan implemented in the beginning and keeps it up, he'll take a lot of steam off of things David may do later later on down the road. Uh signature punches for each guy. Who do you 
who do you believe? Uh, what what's Demetrius' signature punch? What do you think uh, David's signature? Punch? I like I like Demetrius. Like I said again, it's the um for me, it's the um the straight left to the um the body. It's the like body. something that you, that you you see me use even last night because it like it's hard like for all the docs to really see it like that, especially if they're moving. You know, what I'm saying towards that towards the, the left hand, you, you can just sneak it under right under the elbow, and it's right there. You know, and it's, and it's just right there to in the, in, the, in the pocket. But again, I think um. David's best weapon is um when he lets his hands fly, when he lets his hands fly, cause he's heavy handed. You know what I mean? He'll knock you off balance. You know he'll knock you off balance, and he'll just keep you know he's pressing, and pressing, and pressing. So that's so I think it's not much as like a favorite punch. I think it's an accumulation of David Benavides. You think he's an underrated body puncher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's, I think he's an underrated combination puncher overall. I mean. He he doesn't have to be the slickest boxer, but when he, and, and my, my matter of fact, another thing I want to point out. I'm glad you mentioned that is you also have to buy, you also have to see the weight cut, how that affects him as well. Because I think we all seen the video recently when he had the on um, the best on, he was shadow boxing, and I, I thought it was an old video because at one point in time he he was small again, and then like he blew he ballooned back up a bit. So you got people got to take that into effect. Also, you don't know how hard the weight cut may be. You know what I mean? And he's getting older as well, so we we seen him. You know, weight issues on the scale in the past so you know that that's been common in his career so that's another thing and if, again if, if, if Demetrius goes to start to go to the body early that can play a huge part going down and going down the stretch of that fight 